this is my pumpkin archway for this year. It's like I've created a cage, a very bad cage with two very wide openings and exits. Good morning guys, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name's Emma, these are the allotment diaries. Um, it's actually very, very mild today. So I'm actually gonna take my coat off, which is quite weird really, in uh, the month of February to be this warm, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to complain too much because I like being warm, I don't particularly like the cold, but it just feels a little bit odd in a month of February for it to be this mild. I think it's like, it feels like 14, 14 degrees today. That's how it feels. I, it's, probably, it's probably a bit colder than that, but it feels quite warm. Anyway, oh, I'm going to be doing the job I promised you all I'd do, and that is to secure my pumpkin archway and film a video of me doing it. So that's what we're going to be doing in this vlog today. This is my pumpkin archway for this year. It's basically my old polytunnel frame, I'm sure you can see that, but what happened is during the storm, um, my no it actually wasn't during my storm, it was just last year, I got loads of like wear and tear in the cover and I got very very frustrated with it so I decided to take the cover off and use the whole frame as a pumpkin archway. So you can see what I've done already, I've got the pathway through the middle, we've got the beds either side which have got manure over it now, um, and we just put the frame up. The frame has been dug into the ground. That's the great thing about polytunnel frames is that you can actually dig them into the ground. So it's probably about a foot down, half a foot. I love the way I like to like exaggerate everything. You saw me do it. If, if, you're, if you follow this channel, you've seen me do it. It's about half a foot down, let's be honest. I did it just before a storm came and I was worried it'd blow away. Um, so it's about half a foot down. And what we're gonna do today is finish it and uh, have it all completely ready to go for pumpkins. Even though the pumpkins won't be coming out till June, I think it's good to get this done early and um, yeah, just have it ready to go. Get me being all prepared and getting everything I need out first ready. Um, yeah, so I'll show you I'll show you what we need to secure that pumpkin archway. Ordered a couple of different things. So in between the in between the metal poles, we need something in between it to um, carry the pumpkins up because the plant likes to spread out. It has tendrils which grip onto things. So I'll show you this arch over here first actually. So this is my previous pumpkin archway. You can see it's a lot smaller in size. It's two of these Amazon archways. So they're kind of like ladders um, and you can get them on Amazon for about 12 pound each, I think. So I've got two of them and then I've got the poles dug in to try and keep them in the ground because you can't dig these ones in um, as well as you can a polytunnel frame. But if I show you, so this year I'm only going to grow beans on it because my pumpkins are going to go over there and I've grown pumpkins here for two years in a row now so I need to mix it up a bit. Um, but in between the metal bit I put over garden mesh, this is garden mesh, and secured it. So this is like had, this has gone through like storms and winter and Christmas and everything um, and it's still standing but it needs a little bit of like time back in but it's lasted pretty well you can see but the garden mesh covers basically Basically the garden mesh covers the entire archway like that and secures to it and that gives the pumpkins something to grip onto and climb over. So the whole thing, the whole entire thing is covered with garden mesh or chicken wire or a combination of both right up the top so you can see like the pumpkins would sit on there um, right over the entire archway is covered and that's what we've got to do to our polytunnel over there. So I've ordered some garden mesh off of Amazon wasn't that cheap actually I'm not gonna lie I wasn't like I really feel like the price of everything has gone up including things like garden supplies they just seem to get more expensive every year especially now we don't have Wilco's anymore you know it's a nightmare my favorite that was is the garden mesh okay it's green it's plastic but it will last a good few years and support my pumpkins and that's what matters to me so got three rolls of that also got some netting as well in case I run out of um, garden mesh because it's quite expensive, we'll try that this year. Let's go and secure it. So, first thing I 
wanted to do was reinforce the actual frame and put some poles across. Two minutes into the video and I'm already balancing things on my head, but you know. Okay, so it started raining. <laughs> they said it wouldn't rain today, but they lied. They always lie. So what we've done so far, I've actually gone for smaller poles that have gone across each individual section, and I'm hoping it's just gonna give it a bit more stability. Give something more for the pumpkins to grow up. So you can see I've just put these poles across like that. Basically just another, another line of um, stability. God, I've chosen the worst day to do this. Right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put the garden mesh right over the top of the whole thing. So, it's quite long, might need to cut it. Let's have a look how far we get with this. But let's see how far we get with it. I've got a feeling I haven't ordered enough of this. Such a big archway. Yeah, it's pretty good size. I've got a little bit left over. So now it's just a matter of adding the next row, the next row, the next row, and sort of tying them together to make one long... Basically, we're trying to make a mesh archway which is supported by the poles. That's it, really. I can't make this look any less fiddly than it is, because it is fiddly. It's just a fiddly thing. Some jobs are just fiddly. ordered enough it's exactly ready it's four of these I think these are one 1.2 meters um, like wide width like that and then I think they're five meters um, lengthwise so I've got about a meter left over at the end which I have to snip off which is fine I might actually not snip it off because I might use it for something else um, like as a whole roll at some point anyway I might not snip it but yeah this is essentially what we're getting at we're getting at like a cage it's like I've created a cage, a very bad cage with two very wide openings and exits, but a cage all the same. Now, how do I attach the bits together? So you can see here, I haven't tied them in yet. I've just rolled them out. What I'll do is tie these together like that, attach those together. Um, I've got some cable ties actually, which might work better than twine, but you can use twine. I've used twine on the ends here just to hold it in place while I sort of measure it all. Um, but that will essentially create a cage for this lovely archway. And that will give the pumpkin something substantial to grow up and sort of spread out over. Um, I can't actually believe I've ordered enough. I've never done this before where I've actually ordered the right amount of stuff straight away, but there we go. It actually looks really good actually looks really good so I'm going to get tying in with those and as soon as I've done I will come back to you and we're just going to do one more thing to secure it okay can I just say that using cable ties instead of um, twined tie is an absolute blooming game changer um, I so many of you always told me use cable ties Emma buy some cable ties and I never did and I'm seriously regretting that decision now because this has just been so easy to tie 
honestly it takes like two seconds I don't know why I've been wasting my time before it's so easy so you just get yourself a table, cable tie a table tie <laughs> put it round like that thread it through hang on oh why does it no this is ridiculous why does it always go wrong when I try and show it I oh, know there yeah okay there and then you just pull it and it's just secured no I've done it wrong <laughs> Every time I try and show you what I'm doing, it goes wrong. Right, it's this way. Like that. There, it goes tight. It's done. Why is it coming loose again? Why is this one broken? Well, it is easy. I have been doing it. I've been doing it. This is ridiculous that did not work. No, I'm sorry. I've done it. I've done it to all of them and they've, they've worked really, really well. Look, proof. Okay, I have been. It's the one I try and show you just never works. It's so infuriating. Right, okay. It's a fiddly job and I can't show you any other way because it's just, it is fiddly and it has to be fiddly. That's the way it is. Um, you can see now this bit here is falling down. What that needs is another stick in between there to secure it. And I can see that now I've put this on. So it just needs another, another small stick just tying across there and the same on the other side because this is just coming forward too much and we don't want that. We want it to kind of be upright and a little bit more secure. So that's fine. We can change that. That's no problem. The bottom here I'm leaving. I'm not going to cut that because it's I, until I know what to do with the excess plastic mesh, I'm just going to leave it on there. Um, and what I'm going to do is peg it down, but I don't have any pegs right now, but I will peg that into the ground. So that will be right down to the ground for the pumpkins to grow up. It's actually so cool. It's like walking through a little cage. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that's cool. It's quite freaky actually. I'm going to do one more thing to secure my frame and I did it with my last one as well and it worked really well. This is just to secure it down and make sure the frame doesn't blow away. So because the poly tunnel frame is like dug right into the ground so it's like half a foot down into the ground I don't think I desperately need to do this but I'm going to do it anyway. I did it with my other archway so if you're using a different type of archway this might be useful to know. I'm going to get a cane I'm just going to dig it in in right next to my frame and then what we'll do is we'll secure it with another that's just an extra bit of structural engineering just call me Emma the structural engineer do you want me to come and structural engineer your house? no <laughs> Right, so aside from a few little hiccups, a few little more poles to put in and maybe some more to dig in around the side and some pegs, um, I've made quite a good start on the pumpkin archway and I'll just continue to do that basically. Everything that I've done today, I just need to keep doing and then it will be done, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I've chosen the wrong day to do it because it's just rain, raining on and off, which is a complete nightmare. But this is what it's looking like so far. That's pretty much how I secure my archways. Um, and that's pretty much what I did with my other two as well. Um, albeit with a lot more sticks and stuff tied to it because they were a little bit more flimsy. This is dug into the ground. This is a lot more sturdy. Yeah, I think that's gonna make a really great pumpkin archway. I'm very excited. <laughs> Dave cleared from my allotment. Um, someone said what these those horrible 
grass things are called sledge something sledge grass or something like that and um, but it's all been removed from under this tree this tree always gets very overgrown and not in a good way in a I can't control it way and it spreads all around the plot and then um, I've removed all the stuff from over there as well put some little flowers in I think someone said about wildflowers I think that might be nice around there so I might scatter some wildflowers and then around here I am going to plant it up again guys it's not going to stay plain I'm just going to whack in a load of stuff that wildlife likes to hide in and everything I know that wildlife needs you know foliage and stuff to hide in um, so the, the aim of this wildlife area is to replant it up with stuff that I can control. Stuff that's going to attract the bees, the butterflies, the frogs, the insects, you know, I want everything here. But I think you have to admit that most people do not have a wildlife area this big on their allotment plot. A lot of people aren't lucky enough to have this amount of space. I'm lucky, I can have a pond, I can have like a bird feeding area, I can have a, a wild area under the tree with a bug hotel. You know, this is a massive space that I can dedicate 100% to wildlife and that is my ultimate plan my ultimate goal with that um, so yeah that's what's gonna happen there absolutely chucking it down now <laughs> I did not choose the day right but it was the only day I could get here um, no Einstein today and I brought him a massive new bag a massive new bag of dried mealworms which I know he'll love but he's not here today so and I think it's raining so he must be hiding somewhere but I will get him a nesting box as well at some point anyway it's chucking it down I've got no umbrella and I've got to get home now in this so <laughs> I'm gonna have to end the video here I hope you've enjoyed it hope it's inspired you to do an, your own pumpkin archway I will see you again in my next vlog guys thanks so much for watching and stay dry bye <laughs>